So here are some hot tips on some of the features by Cisco on VSS. I hope you enjoy them. Okay, so a normal 6500 switch with a Soup 720 card has a backplane size of 720 gig. So with VSS, as you are creating a virtual switch, it is essentially doubling the size of your total backplane to 1.44 terabits. To run VSS, you will need a VSS enabled card in both 6500 chassis. The two 10 gig uplinks are normally used to connect to the VSS enabled switch. Because you can use any mix of transceiver and fiber type combination to connect the VSS partners, it means that the switches can exist a very long distance away from each other, although it is more practical to keep them fairly close so you can have redundant uplinks to your kits. In traditional layer 2 networks, if you have access switches connected upstream via redundant uplinks, normally one link is blocked by spanning and not utilized at all. So with VSS, you can take advantage of multi-chassis ether channel technology, meaning the uplinks from the access switches will now be combined to form a single logical ether channel. Point to remember, you must multi-home all your devices so that they are connected to each VSS partner in an ether channel. No need for any traditional first hop redundancy protocols such as the ones you see. They're all replaced by a single IP on the VSS infrastructure. So here you can see my local 6500 switch number, which is two, and you can see it as the active switch in the VSS pairing. You can also see the other VSS member it detects, which is switch number one, and at the moment, it is the standby switch in the VSS pairing. So on the show switch virtual role, you can see the VSS switch information and priorities. On the show switch virtual redundancy, you can see detailed information such as what slot the VSS supervisor cards are in, the uptime, software image use, etc. And the show module shows me all the cards in this particular 6500 switch which I'm connected to, so the active switch. And as you can see, I have four cards used in my 6506 chassis and slot 6 is used for my supervisor card. So if you want to see the modules for the other VSS pair, just type in show module switch.